From WFAA, this is Good Morning Texas. Well, statistics show that holiday shoppers, who are mostly women, typically make five trips to the mall and shop about two hours each time. And that's approximately 10 hours spent on their feet. That's, that's equal to slightly over a marathon. So Katie Bowman from Restorative Exercise Institute is here with some tips to protect our feet on Black Friday. Good morning. Good morning. That is amazing. But you're right, we would never run a marathon wearing two-inch heels. But we don't think twice going out to the stores, going out to the malls, and shopping in our heels and our wedges. What are the long-term consequences for that? Well, you know, uh, you've got 25% of the number of bones and the number of muscles in your body from the ankle down. Wow. So putting on footwear not only affects your whole entire skeleton, mm -hmm. but it also reduces the function of the foot. So this is a six foot tall person. Okay, so, so we're going to pretend this is a, yep, the yeah. ball. And if this is you, your height's about here. So this is about five feet right here. Okay. And this is just a one inch heel. Let me move this here just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this is a one inch heel mm -hmm. underneath the skeletal system. Mm -hmm. So what this means is your body, obviously you don't walk around pitched forward like this, but no. you arch your back to be able to stand up. To compensate up, for it. Or you tuck your tailbone. So uh -huh. then you create all these other musculoskeletal disorders and most importantly, you decrease your metabolism. Because really? tight muscles don't really have a lot of electricity flowing through them, so your caloric expenditure goes down. So if you're gonna be in a marathon, you might as well be burning as many calories as possible. That is unbelievable. Yeah. And I, I mean, I have to confess, because I mean, I live, I live basically in my heels, and it is something that I get concerned about. But are there some other top options as far as footwear are, are, are concerned that you can really start to practice and do that may be different than the typical wedge or the heel that we would want to wear? Right. So here we have, this is earth footwear, and what mm -hmm. I like about earth is it's, it's negative heel, which means instead of having that lift that I showed you, mm -hmm. what it does is it kind of puts you back where your weight should be distributed, which is over your heels as opposed to the softer tissues um, of the plantar fascia and, and of the muscles in the toes. Huh. So not only do they have the negative heel, you're also looking for a wider toe box. Most of your high heels have a traditionally narrow toe box, mm -hmm. so they kind of squish your toes together so it prevents the natural... Like, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty narrow, folks. Yeah, and that's something that I'm mean, going to be wearing this pretty much all day long. Right, and if you put your foot next to uh -huh. it on the ground, you would see that your foot's actually wider than your shoe. Uh -huh. So it's kind of uh, foot binding, only uh -huh. not quite as back as the 6th century. All right, well, you know, all, as much as we would love to wear the tennis shoes mm -hmm. every day, you know, if, if, I, if, if I'm working in a job like I am, it's, it's basically impractical because we have to wear the heels. But are there some things that we can do at home to help maybe offset some of the long-term consequences? Sure. You want to prevent the high heel hangover, especially now. You're going to go... <laughs> I love that idea, yeah. the high heel hangover. <laughs> You're going to go to the every party. day with right. a high heel hangover. Hungover every day when you're working. The, yeah. Uh, from a heel perspective, that's right, what I'm right, saying. Right. That's what she meant. Um, you need to take better care of your feet. So we mm -hmm. talked about all of these muscles that you have from the ankle down, and they need to go to the gym. I think of wearing a high heel as kind of like creme brulee. It's, it's supposed to be special occasion, but for yourself, you have to have creme brulee every single day, which means you need to go to the foot gym a little bit more often. Okay. So we've got um, corrective exercise programs, mm -hmm. a simple solution, inexpensive, less than a dollar are toe spacers. You can get them when you get a pedicure or you can buy them at the drugstore. They're usually less than a dollar. And this helps? Put them between, yeah, because if you've got your feet smashed up all day, when you get home, kick off your shoes, put your toe spacers in, and you are essentially exercising those muscles because you're stretching them back open you're restoring the function and you can get your metabolism up mm -hmm. and then when you put on a wider toe box right. foot where your your feet now have a muscle memory a little bit of how to stretch easy out. cheap something you can do absolutely Thank you so much so to get your hands on some of these great shoes and also for more tips you can go to earthshoes.com and also we want you to tune in tomorrow to hear a rundown on all the black friday best pick stores and hours and all the great sales so you don't want to miss it rob